everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Hannah Die. It has been quite some time since I last filmed a video, over 10 weeks actually. Um, since I think the last video that I put was, I'm gonna get some water, sorry guys. Um, the last video that I put up was our gender reveal. I have a lot in this video that we're gonna be unpacking, um, literally. I'm also gonna do a little name reveal in this video for our baby. I was gonna do it with my husband, we talked about this idea. But I'm not going to be able to show you guys all these items without telling you his name. I know I won't. Um, so, this video is going to be a collective haul. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll have a lot more information about the baby and stuff. Um, as well as possibly a photo that, you know, my information has been cropped out of. Um, an ultrasound photo. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. But I have a lot of stuff. I just got a package from my mother-in-law. In fact, let me just see real quick because I texted her. Just waiting for a response. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to be kind of a hot mess in this video. Nothing hot about it, honestly. I don't feel the greatest today. I haven't for the last couple of days. I've been just very down. Um, Plexus has been helping a lot with that, especially the active drink, but I'm still feeling just kind of hormonal. <laughs> I'm pregnant, so I think I have an excuse. Um, but all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm not showing you everything we bought for him, because if I did that, we'd be here for a very long time. We have a ton of clothes that have been bought for him or given to us, um, but I wanted to focus on more kind of in the last couple months. I mean, I'm four, five months pregnant yesterday. Uh, we reached the 20 week mark yesterday, which is really cool. But anyway, let's start with uh, this bag here. I have an Aldi bag. It looks so close. We, um, Jared's work actually is pretty awesome, and they give out points to their employees, which they can spend in like a point store online. And so we were able to get a $200 Macy's gift card to go on like a little shopping spree. Go on like a little shopping spree and get some stuff. I ordered, I have a box coming in, but it was supposed to be here on Tuesday, which was yesterday. Um, and it's now Wednesday. And now the tracking thing says it's going to be here on Saturday. So I don't really know when it's actually going to get here. It has a couple maternity type items for me, a pair of yoga pants and maternity bra. Um, and then it has a ton of baby stuff in there as well. But I do want to show you some of the things we got at Macy's. This is actually probably the most recent out of all of the items, other than the package I got from my mother-in-law today. So, first thing we got is this cute uh, little onesie and pants set. Um, this one was actually from their backstage section. We shopped there so we could make the gift card stretch. Um, so it was like $7.99. And it also comes with a cute little cap. And yes, I know babies aren't going to wear these caps. I mean, they will, but you'll probably find one that you like, and then you'll probably stick with it. Um, but... I still thought that was really cute. It'd be cute for little photos and stuff. I'm probably going to take lots of pictures of my baby. Um, we also picked these up. These were on sale for $4.98, so I picked them up. They are for three to six months old. And yes, I know my baby has no purpose wearing shoes um, until he starts walking. But, I mean, they're really, really cute. It would be really cute with, like, a church outfit or something. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I also found these little red corduroy pants. And yes, I know that they're very Christmassy. Um, and corduroy tends to be a warmer material, but I really don't care. This is for a size three months. At three months, he will it will be October. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how these work, if they're too warm or not. But they're super duper cute. Um, they were on sale from Christmas, and they were not backstage. They were actually downstairs in the baby section, but they were $7.73. I'm going to try to include prices for all these things, because we try to be pretty frugal with what we're buying, just to make sure that we're not overspending because we have to get a lot of stuff for this baby, and also we don't want to be um, bad stewards of what God has given us of his money, and so we're trying to keep the cost down. So, anyway, at the same time, I kept telling myself that, and Jared kept telling me it's a free gift card, so you really don't have to budget, just buy what you want. Or you have to budget, obviously, to stay within the, the amount. But, you know, he was telling me, don't worry about buying cheap items, it's free money. So, um, I still shop the clearance, because, you know, I got more items that way. I also found this cute little thing from the brand Chickpea. These, little thing, I don't know what I'm saying. These are the softest material. It is little uh, leggings they have. A little onesie, you guys can see. And this beautiful sagey kind of green color, which has been one of my main colors for his stuff. And this. 
So, uh, this little hat. With his nursery, the theme is going to be minimal. Well, the theme is actually forest animals kind of style, a little bit lumberjacky. Um, but what we ended up deciding on doing is a minimal style nursery, so very natural woods. In fact, this big box right here is our crib, which is a very natural wood. In fact, um, kind of like kind of like this kind of wood, um, just very natural. Um, and then we'll have pops of little animal accents. As far as his clothes go, I did have a theme. It was supposed to be very neutral and sage and like those really pretty mustards and reds and stuff like that. I just really like the warm, almost 1970s colors. Um, but honestly, with getting so many clothes from so many people who haven't ordered off our registry, um, we're getting all sorts of different styles. So we ended up deciding to just find what we think is cute, and then he'll have a bunch of cute outfits. They don't need to be a specific style. Plus, they'll stretch better that way. Some of these items, if they last till the next baby, which I'm sure they will, like this, would work for a little girl. So would actually the, um, the little fox onesie. I think I could make that work for a little girl as well. Um... What I love about these little sets is I can match the onesie with any pants. Um, I could even do, okay, that's, that's kind of clashes, but you know what I mean. I can match, uh, mix and match the pants and onesies with different items. We also got like a cute little outfit. Now this is, was a, we don't need it at all for him, but it's a newborn little outfit. We got it because um, we're going to do newborn photos and this would be really cute to get Jared's like, kind of a matching kind of style um, and do little newborn photos with him. Um, but also, it gives us, like, one outfit for when we bring him to church, which will be, like, two weeks to three weeks after he's born. Um, so it gives us, like, a cute little outfit. And it's all summery and stuff. It will last him barely any time at all, but we thought that it was super cute. Um, let's see. Oh, I also have these. These were actually a gift. Um, oh, these I'm getting rid of because, um, I could keep them for the next baby if we have a little boy or a little girl. But they are these really warm fleece, um, kind of winter style um sleepers in a size newborn and he's newborn in july so these would be way too hot for him because we live in oklahoma so it gets very hot here um and i know i'm not going to end up using those for him unfortunately there was luckily almost an identical one to this that i was given as well by the same person that is going to fit him at the right age it's like six months and he'll be like five months at christmas so um anyway so let's move on because I have a lot of stuff to show you. My mom sent a bunch of stuff. That's what the rest of this is going to be. Um, I actually got a set of onesies. I've already actually taken them off the hanger. Um, let's see. I'm just going to kind of zoom through them. This one was my favorite, by the way. It has like a little pocket, a little fox. Now this fits with the blue th fox theme, which was not really the theme we were going with. But I'm trying to kind of stay away from orange fox themed clothing now because fox is like a big part of his wardrobe. Because that's what a lot of people are gifting us. Not that we're not ungrateful. We're very grateful for it. But the fox theme is starting to get overwhelming with clothing. So I've been really enjoying seeing like the different colored foxes. So I was really glad my mom got me some blue foxes for him. They're so cute. And this will get him settled. These are a size 0 to 3 months, I believe. Yeah. Which should fit him when he's born, hopefully. There we go. This one's really cute. It's just very plain. Which I really like those simple ones. And this one I thought was really cute. It's a smile. Super cute. She also got me some leggings for him as well. I'm just going to zoom through them. You have a striped pair of leggings. These are not the most exciting part of this haul, but blue leggings. And they all match with the outfit or the onesies. And then a pair of plain ones. And then the last thing she got is the cutest. So you, it comes with, it's a little outfit. This one does not have the size, and it didn't have the size anywhere on it that I could find it. Yeah, all the tag says is a uh, chemo cat for your stylish kids. Doesn't really give you any information. And on the tag, all it has is that. If you guys can decipher that, let me know. I think it's just an item number. Um, but it's a cute little shirt with a one, uh, bow tie. I kept the bow tie attached, but it actually comes off. It's elastic, elasticated. Um, but it looks like that. Super cute. And it came with a pair of suspenders. I'm not going to really be able to show you guys this very well on camera, but a pair of suspenders. And it came with the cutest pair of little dress pants. I'm thinking this is closer to six months. Um, to me, it looks kind of big for a three-month-old. Maybe like three to six, somewhere in there. But this will be really, really nice as like a little church outfit, especially once we start dressing him up for church. 
I mean, I know we did buy the one outfit that has, like, the khaki pants and the blue plaid shirt to church as a newborn. But realistically, I'm probably not going to take him to church until at least three weeks. Um, just so that I can get healed up. I know it's only going to be, like, a week process for healing. Um, but... I just want to be able to take extra time to relax, get used to this whole parenting thing before I take them to church. Also, um, I do want to be just a little bit careful. I know babies have really good immune systems that are God-given, but just my personal preference, because I have lost pre uh, pregnancy before, um, I just want to be extra careful. It's just, it will make me feel a little bit better if I wait a little bit longer, and it's not going to hurt anyone if I do, so. Um, but I've already had uh, some people tell me that that's a mistake which I don't know why, but anyway. Um, next thing I have, let me show you the next newest thing that I got today. It's actually cloth diapering stuff, and I'm so excited about this. My mother-in-law just sent it to us, or uh, had it ordered off Amazon. And um, we're definitely going to have to get more cloth diapers. However, for the first uh, month to two, like uh, newborn size and one, one, size one diapers, we're going to use regular disposable diapers. And then probably around three months is when we'll transition him. He should be at the correct weight for um, uh, cloth diapers. That Sorry, guys. So she sent me two of these. And these are little, they're identical, so let me just show you what they look like. One's just a different pattern. They are just zipper bags. What's really cool about these, they have a hanging thing. It's a hanging thing that made no sense. You can just hang it on your um, changing table. As you change the diapers, dirty ones go in here. There's another pocket here as well. What in the world? Oh, there we go. It was just a little bit stuck. And then there's a second pocket here. So what you could potentially do is have the top one for your um, outsides, and these insides would go in here. The liners would go in the front. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do this yet. I have a lot of research that I've done on cloth diapers. I know not to use any petroleum-based um uh, buck cranes or that kind of stuff, um, but I do want to kind of look into a little bit more about how I'm going to do the organization, um, especially when they're dirty, because I'm not going to get a diaper genie or anything similar to that. I have considered getting a cute little trash can to go in his room that he can use when he's older, um, you know, that doesn't look like a baby diaper genie, and just putting a cloth bag in there, and that would be where my d dirty ones go, um, because in the beginning, because I am breastfeeding, he's not going to need... Um, every single diaper, to, in fact, most of them probably, to be sprayed off or anything like that because um, babies poop when they're being breastfed is very liquidy. I used to work at daycare in an infant center, and I remember breastfed poop was the hardest to clean because it was so gross. I don't want to get into that too much, but um, I definitely won't need to spray them off or anything, so I think I can just throw them into the hamper and they'll be good. Um, but obviously, if it was like little turds in it and I needed to spray it off or something, I'd go spray it off. I wouldn't just put it in the, in the thingy. But anyway, I also have these, which are some liners. I actually didn't see, let's see. There are six liners. Oh, I actually have not opened them yet. They feel good. Those feel like they would be super duper comfy for him. They're four ply, I believe is what she said she was ordering. All from the brand Alva Baby. I'll just kind of hold it up so you guys can kind of see. Hopefully my camera will focus. Yeah, there you go. I'll have a link down below. Um, and yeah, so these are great because obviously you need liners. The diapers did come with liners. I think they ca uh, came with 12 liners for six diapers. Um, so you can either double them up if you need to or you can um, just use one. I'm only going to use one um, unless I find that I need more. They're so thick. I don't know why you would need more than one. Um, and then what would happen is if he, like, pee, I, I know I'm giving you guys a lot of information about this, but if you were to pee in his diaper, um, all I would have to do is take the insert out and just, um, I lost my train of thought. Take the insert out and his outside of his diaper, which I'll show you actually here in a second, would be um, fine. I could just put a new insert in and that would be his diaper. Instead of me having to, like, change the outside every time, if it's just the little insert, which most of the time it will be that's dirty, I can actually just use the diaper again. They do say, though, if they have, like, a really bad BM, um, to just, change, like, completely wash everything, which is what I'm planning on. But for the most part, I will only have to change these out. So I don't need a ridiculous amount of these diapers. Um, right now I have six. I'm thinking about getting six more, but it's not a necessity at the moment. Um, just because 
for one thing, he's not here. Second thing <laughs> is he'll be in regular diapers for the very beginning. And we actually have a blessing. Uh, J Jared's boss is actually going to provide diapers for the first month for us. So we'll have those taken care of. But yeah, so this is what they look like. The one she got, I actually really like that she just went with solid colors. I think they look cuter and nicer, and they actually work for both genders better. Um, that way, if we have a little girl later on, these can just be repurposed for her once he's uh, potty trained and everything. Um, but yeah, so let me kind of give you a little tour using this one. I don't want to do it on all of them or anything like that, but I have it right now on the smallest setting, which will probably fit him at about two months uh, to a month. Uh, it just kind of depends on how big he is. Um, I don't think he's going to be a very big baby. After our anatomy scan, he was only 10 ounces at 19 weeks. So I don't think he's going to be very big. Um, but that's really something for my doctor to tell me, I guess. But I think I think this will probably be good at three months is when I want to start it. So this would be the smallest setting. These come open like this. And then you just have to whoop, pop it open like that and change the size. So it goes to three different, or two different sizes, sorry. My foot in this thing. Well, technically three, because you also have it where it, you don't have to use these snaps at all to make it smaller. This is just to control the tummy area. So yeah, so this is the biggest size that it would be. And I believe this probably should work for him until he's about six months to seven or eight. I might have to buy some larger sizes of these when it's time for him to um, get, I mean, get a bigger size. But she got yellow, green, I know this is a long video, uh, light, or I guess it's kind of like a turquoise color, dark blue, I love the dark blue color. And then the last ones are gray and, I guess that's more turquoise. Um, and, yeah, so each of these come with two of those inserts on the inside. So now I have a ridiculous amount of inserts. Definitely don't need to buy any more of those. I might, like I said like once he's born or whatever, um, get some more of these outsides or just put them on my registry and get some more later. But honestly, I think I'll be set for diapers, um, especially since he's gonna be breastfed, hopefully. We'll have to see how all that works because you know, like it's so unpredictable. So, sorry guys, I keep having to get comfortable. I'm not used to sitting on the ground. Um, normally I'm not this mobile, uh, but today I guess I'm feeling a little extra, a little extra mobile. So that's it for like the diapering stuff. Now I have a bunch of accessory type stuff such as um, diaper bag, nursery decor, things like that. So let's let's move on to that. I have this is the only stuff that was actually out where I could show you. That's why I have this much stuff, um, but also this few of things I guess. And they're so random is because they were just randomly in the nursery. So let me show you the thing I was actually showing you. So this is the color wood that the 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 crib is, I couldn't think. Um, the crib is actually, I really like it. My mom ordered it. It's um, a crib with a changing table on the end, so it's like attached to it. What I really love about that is it will be really good for Azure. Um, oh, that's his name, by the way. I probably have been saying his name this whole time. Um, sorry, text message. Sorry. Um, back to what I was doing. Um, Anyway, I was going to originally do it separate, but I actually really like this because I think it's going to save us a lot of room in there. Um, and we don't really need a dresser. Plus, they were like $300 for a dresser. Um, so this, I think, will work a lot better. I'm excited to get everything set up. We're not going to set up probably until the end of May, early to mid-June. So I'll probably be like 30. Let's see. I got to do the math here, y'all. I'll probably be like 34 weeks when I start doing the nursery, basically. I bought this. This was the first thing I bought for him for his nursery because I thought he was a she. He's not. Um, so what we're actually going to do is we might still put this in there. I'm not quite decided because it does fit with a minimalistic kind of style. Um, but the clouds are, I don't know if they're really the style I'm really wanting to go with. So we either will put it in storage and when he has a sister we can use it again. Um, but I haven't quite decided. I got the set of Ross for $5.99 by the way. It's super cute. And we can put his house coats and things like that there. Um, a diaper bag. Got this in the mail the other day, also from Amazon. In fact, I think most of the clothes, other than the stuff I specifically said was Macy's, were from Amazon. Um, what is that? Sorry, guys. I got distracted. Okay. Um, so this is my diaper bag. It is by the brand Babbleroo. I'll try to have the link down below for everything that I'm able to find. 
Um, but it's a diaper bag. It looks like this. I believe the retail cost is 46 And this was a gift from my um, parents, by the way. And I don't want to go through the whole diaper bag. Maybe I will in, like, a diaper bag video. I might do a what's in my diaper bag after he's born. But it comes with a nice little thingamajig. It comes with, you know, obviously pockets that are um, for, like, bottles and whatnot. You have these, which I wanted in a diaper bag, which are um, little clips for the stroller so I can clip it on, which is really nice. Uh, lots of pockets. You have one pocket up here that goes all the way down, which would be really good for a laptop. You also have one here, so this front section here, which could be good for like maybe like a few of your own personal items, which is kind of what I'm thinking these two are going to be your, like my pockets. Um, and then another one here. Lots of storage. There's lots more on the inside. Last time I tried to film a video similar to this. Um, I've been trying to film videos for weeks, but I just never feel good enough. Um, I tried to show you guys the inside of the bag and it didn't work out, so I'll have to show you guys in another video. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing I'm going to show you just real quick is you have a little baby bottle section with insulated pockets right here, a little mesh right there. So this would be really good for, obviously, these bottles and stuff. Um, there's more insulated pockets on the inside, but like I said, I don't want to show you the whole thing. Uh, they had different colors. They had army green. I forget what the last color was. And then they had this one, which is navy and gray. Um, it's funny because my mom was totally on board with the army green. And I said, no, let's just do the gray and navy. And then after I told Jared about the army green, he, apparently that's the one he likes the most. But it's done. And this is the one we're doing. Uh, but I thought it was funny. Oh, also forgot to mention, this one side is actually going to be for wipes. The other side is completely closed. So you can do whatever you want. Very excited to have that in because that is going to be a necessity for us. Here's a little decor item I got at TJ Maxx for $7.99. Um, and he's ready to our fan. We have a dog, a puppy. Well, not really a puppy. He's like over a year now. And this is Finn. You guys can't see him. This is Finn. And he's going to have the privilege of growing up with Asher. Or Asher is going to grow up with him. Hi. And I found this cute little picture frame. We can take a picture of them together. And then, like, maybe, like, a newborn one of uh, them together. And then do their paw, paw, their paw print. His paw print, baby Asher's footprint. I thought this would be really cute for the nursery. It's very neutral, so it really matches. I might not put it in the nursery. I could potentially put it, actually, in our home somewhere where, you know, it's on display just because it's so cute. Um, but I got that. Let's see. We also got this as we like to buy an ornament every year for each other. And instead of buying one for each other, stop it. You're being annoying. Thank you. Um, we ended up just buying one together. And this one's just a little one with an ultrasound. This is not ours. We have not put our own picture in here. I'll probably do that soon. Um, but yeah, super cute. We're going to end up doing that for next Christmas. But yeah, it says best gift ever on it. Uh, also from TJ Maxx, um, I got a couple things there at the same time that all got put in here. This was one of the first things I even got at all from my mom. It says, welcome with love. And then you put their name, the date, weight, and height. Now, I have to talk to my mom about this, and she'll probably see this video before I get a chance to talk to her, but this doesn't really match the masculine kind of vibes. Um, so what I might do is save this, so when we have a little girl, we can use it for her, um, and just do something a little bit different for the boy, but this is super duper duper cute. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that conversation goes. I think it will go fine. I have some decor I bought from Hobby Lobby. I got this little piece. Now, because I am doing, have decided to do minimal, these kind of don't match that much. So what we're going to do a little bit different is this one, we are going to paint the boat, possibly. We're still kind of thinking about it. It's possible that this is just going to get returned to Hobby Lobby. I don't know if it's been too late. It might have. Um, but we're still kind of debating. Or I could just go in there as like a pop of color. We also got one with a Jeep. Now, this one is definitely getting painted because we own a 1992 or 91 Wrangler. Um, and it's actually green. And so Jared's going to take this as a project and make it look like his Jeep and paint it green. Just so that it's a little more accurate. Um, but I bought this for Jared mostly, but for the nursery. Because of his Jeep, it's his baby. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to, I don't know, have this in the baby's room. Um, then I got a little book. I wasn't planning on showing a whole lot of accessories and stuff. Or a lot, a lot of uh, toys or that kind of stuff. But I'll just show you what's left in here. Uh, this is How Big Is Your Brave. You guys can look it up if you guys want to know what it's about. But there's a bunny rabbit involved. Um, that was from Ross. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's a little uh, stuffed fox. Of course, I had to buy it. Um, 
I bought it with the other items from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was really, really cute. And then the last baby item I have is just this little fox book. We love foxes, if you haven't already gathered. Um, but I will say, I did break up the foxes with some raccoons. So, you know. Um, but I did buy a book. It has the cutest little tail, so we thought it'd be perfect. It was at a little boutique down in Bethany, Oklahoma. Um, anyway, yeah, it's really cute. It talks about if I was a fox, and then it has, like, little things like my fur would be soft. It has really soft fur. I was actually playing with it in the car, and Jared got onto me. Um, it has, like, the paw prints. It talks about those, and it has cute little things, or, like, paw prints. Also has, like, a shiny nose. All these cute little things that he won't understand at first, but... They're still so much fun. And then, yeah, super duper cute little book for his collection. I'm not buying a ridiculous amount of books um, or even toys because he's not going to be able to play with them for a while. But I still wanted to get um, some little things here and there. But yeah, that is everything that I have in this little collective haul. You'll probably see more of these in the future. They're going to be more, um, like I said, collective. Just because I'm buying things from all different companies. Some of them are, uh, sorry, some of them are gifts and things like that, so I won't be able to, you know, do like a specific Amazon or whatever haul. Um, but I am super excited about this baby. Um, I actually, Jared and I have been talking a little bit about how we're going to budget some of the next kind of, next things on our list. And we're actually gonna, gonna sorry, I can't talk, categorize it um, so that we have like diapering stuff, which I will say now that we have those cloth diapers, we really just need to get wiped and we would actually be set I know there's other things I want to get, like obviously the diaper balm and things like that. So that, I think that's more on a must-have kind of list. Um, but we're really excited. And we're going to do categories and then categories. I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Um, and then go from there with all of that. Um, like a feeding one. I decided that I'm not going to buy um, collections of bottles, like gift sets, because I don't know if they're going to work for us. What I'm going to do is just on my register what I have is single bottles. Um, I have three different brands, Newbie, Komotomo, which I used to love because a lot of our daycare kids could use them um, and they would feed easy from those. Um, and what was the last one I did? The last one was, oh, the Philips Advent. Advent. Um, that's what my aunt used for my cousin. She said she loved it. So I just got one single bottle from those on my registry that we're going to end up buying probably in like the next week or so. Um, because I don't know what he's going to like, and I don't want to go ahead and buy a bunch of gift sets and then have all these extra bottles for no reason. It's a waste of money, first off, that could be spent on other things we need. Um, and I really don't know what he's going to like and what he's not. He might not even like bottles, who knows? He might be a weirdo and only breastfeed. If he does, that's going to be an issue for me. But anyway, um, there's a lot of things going on for this baby. Um, we're super excited. So I know I said his name already, but I do want to do like a really quick full name reveal because he does have middle names too. Um, so Jared's middle name is Jay, J-A-Y, so it's Jared J. Dye. Um, and my middle name is Nicole. And we always said that when we had a little girl, her middle name would be Nicole and Jared's would be Jay because that's a tradition in our family to pass down the parents' middle names. And so um, we always said that was going to happen. And yeah, so he has the middle name Jay. We actually always had a joke with my father-in-law that he would also be named William. So, his full name is Asher William J. Dye. We gave him two middle names just because we wanted to uh, kind of honor my father-in-law. Um, you know, and plus it's kind of a family joke that one of the kids would have his name. Um, we just ended up putting it in the middle so we could keep it in there. Um, but yeah, we actually already have all of our next seven kids' names picked out. So, we'll see how that works. Um, babies are really, really expensive though, so... We'll have to see how many kids we're willing to have. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. And I will be posting more videos soon. So stay tuned for those. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.